This is making a lot of noise on the street. What exactly has the SEC accused Blue Crest of doing? Well, these allegations, they do stem from 2011 to 2015, so we have to be really exact about the time frame here. And it was over that period that Blue Crest started an internal hedge fund to manage the money of the billionaire founder, Mike Platt, as well as the external money, which it eventually did stop doing in 2015. But the SEC allegations surround that internal fund, saying that it's uh, the, the sort of details of it were kept uh, away from clients. They misled clients about it, even going so as far as to any traders they had that outperformed or were doing really well, any of their star traders, they were taken off the flagship fund and put onto the internal fund. That means that the flagship fund for its clients chronically underperformed. A lot of it was managed by an algorithm, and this algorithm allegedly just copied the, tr the trades of its main traders, but on a one-day delay. And of course, if you're trading on a one-day delay, it means you miss a lot of the market moves, including the 2013 taper tantrum. Now, Bluecrest says, we are pleased to have resolved this matter, which primarily involved disclosures that were made more than five years ago, Anne-Marie. Yeah, Danny, but could this kind of thing happen again? Like, what impact does this have on the entire industry? Well, the hedge fund industry was already in, 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 a, in a lot of trouble over the past five years. More funds have closed than new ones have started. If anything, this is somewhat of a cautionary tale of what can happen when there's a conflict of interest of hedge funds uh, managing both internal and external money. Now, this isn't to say that any hedge fund that does both engages in this sort of behavior, but it certainly is something that might concern clients if they have a hedge fund structure set up like this. Um, uh, there's also a bit of irony to this, considering it's it's Michael Platt. Just a year ago, he was caught on camera uh, uh, in a sort of mock interview with a taxi driver, bragging about how much money he had, the fact that he was a billionaire, uh, telling that taxi driver, uh, I'm a hedge fund manager and I've transformed my personal fund into an investment a personal investment vehicle because we made such high returns. So that that bragging, that very public bragging sort of coming full circle now, Anne-Marie.